That's what everyone asks me. I think it's just the passion that pushes you. And you know, when you are exploring and exploring, you don't know where you're going into, you just want to go, you know, just like mountain climbing. You want to reach, you know, the, the top. So I, I feel the same way. I, I don't know uh, where's the end. Each show I try to make it different. Uh, the first show, one of the uh, uh, past five, six shows, Navarasa Ramayana, where I did the story of Ramayana in the nine emotions, love. I started from, you know, the birth of uh, the, the marriage of Sita Rama and then going on to uh, Ravana, each one showing one emotion, you know, and Hasyam with the monkeys all uh, building the bridge, you know, so all the nine emotions and we did it in animation <laughs> backdrop, you know, so that was received very, very well. I remember the uh, reporter Wilson mentioning to me that he cannot forget the Navarasa Ramayana. He says that this was in 2007. 2009, we did uh, cinema ragas where we related cinema songs with uh, uh, our Carnatic ragas. And uh, Sindavi and uh, Rajesh Vaidya and Unni Krishnan uh, came. I also invite guest artists uh, for our performances, you know. Uh, they came and had been part of it for this show and that added a lot of colour and we received good reviews. Then we did uh, 2012 was I think the climax la, of my, my shows, uh, uh, The Romance of Taj Mahal, where the movie in 1928, a silent movie, and we gave life to the music with a 70-piece orchestra with Western symphony, with Indian, with Chinese, with Malay instruments. Everything right from the horses riding, everything was musical. The credit, of course, goes to the uh, uh, music director, Bharat Watch. Bharat Watch came down and did the music score, but still he, his, I like his interview when he gave, he said, uh, even in India, nobody had, you know, had thought of this idea of doing a, the movie is from India, a silent movie taken in 19, by a German, of course, 1928, but we had got permission through the High Commission and we got the movie and then... Was it your idea? When my last show, 2014, we did this idea called Mystic Seven. The Seven Steps, a bride and bridegroom takes round a ceremonial fire, whether in North India or South India. For each step, I created a music. Like step one, to lead a colourful life, the bride and bridegroom. I created a theme called Sapta Varnam. Varna is colours, <laughs> you know. Then the second one is the, the couple is supposed to obey the Vedas. So I did this thing, the Sapta Rishis, that is laid down by the Sapta Rishis. And I found out uh, that Sapta Rishis wrote seven stanzas of the sev uh, um, Ramayana. So I used the Ramayana again, uh, all the verses, to show the Sapta Rishis. I used this theme called Gana Yatra, where we take uh, seven directions as a tour in India of the historic sites. I used that to show the seven directions. Then I, I travelled from uh, uh, Madurai Meenakshi Temple, as one Harish said, Karnataka, the Hampi, Hampi village, Orissa, uh, the Konak Sun Temple. So like that, I did uh, seven places. After seeing that, uh, the Indian Heritage Board had come a few days after that to my house and said that for the opening ceremony, they want to put us and they want me to do a, an item, especially that particular item. To me, that is the uh, what I do in my music and so far it has not failed me. I think I couldn't have lasted 30 years with 50 musicians <laughs> always or 40 or 70 uh, as my numbers. Those are very rich experience that I, I don't think uh, uh, I will ever look back and say I'm sorry for it or you know even though it's struggle I sometimes have to miss a few things family.